And welcome back to Guacamelee. Red, whatever. Today we're going to go fight a boss, and because I've run out of interesting costumes that I don't want to show quite yet, we're just going to use an all co alternate color scheme of the original costume. That works for me. I'm okay with that. Eve, are you alive? Yeah, it's costumes. He's wearing pink pants. <laughs> mm-hmm. But the first boss of the entire game is down here. This town really should probably see about that water problem. They're all gonna get trench foot. Yeah, probably. Well, actually, can you get trench foot when you don't have flesh? Hmm... Hey, look, it's the uh, the woman that everybody had a big old discussion in the thread about how to pronounce her name, and I completely forgot how to pronounce her name. <laughs> Good going, Kalon. Hair lady. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I like this boss fight. It's a fun boss fight. Mm-hmm. But first, she's whining that Kalaka is not giving her any attention ever since he kidnapped the president's daughter. Also, if you say yes, she will hurt you. Don't say yes. I'm maybe into that, actually. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> I haven't tried. I don't know. Oh, and because I didn't mention it way back in the second video or first video or whatever, if you say no to wanting to learn more about uh, Jaguar Javier, he just skips a bunch of the, uh, the conversation. So, this boss fight, uh, she sends out unblockable things... And, uh, it's shot in eight directions, or ten directions, or something. I, I don't know. It's sort of a Mega Man boss fight, but with more punching and wrestling moves. Yeah. And eventually, she gets some new moves. Like, every boss, all except for, I think, one, pretty much changes at the halfway mark. Also, right there, she tried to... Uh, teleport us into the land of the living and in the land of the living there's a bunch of like spikes and shit all over the place yeah I, th I don't think she ever gets a chance to uh, pull that attack off because this is actually my second recording of it because my first recording was completely and 100% corrupt so um yeah I had to completely re-record everything thank god for cloud saves <laughs> Uh, probably should have shown it off at least once, though. Yeah, I, I just thought she would have had another chance to pull it off. Unfortunately, she did not. And here on the ground, she fights completely differently. Uh, most of her attacks are dodgeable. We have not gotten... We've gotten hit, like, once. Look at our health bar. Look at your health bar. <laughs> Itty bitty, great big old thing. Itty bitty, great big old thing. Okay, so now she has clones of herself. And these are actually not, not real versions of her. Like, neither one of these are real. She doesn't reappear until after I kill both of them, actually. I think... It, I think she's on a timer to reappear, because I know she'll reappear if you take too long to kill these guys. And it's generally a pain. And she always has a yellow shield. It's annoying, because that one requires you to sit still, so fuck that. We're just gonna <laughs> intenso... ...mess her up. Intensely be the woman. Uh-huh. Still better... Depictions of women than God of War. It's let's let's leave God of War where we left it, which is in the <laughs> dirt. Well, we haven't beat up many women in God of War. Time for backstory. Uh -huh. Directly. Now, if you brought popcorn, if you did, share it with me. I would like popcorn. What kind of popcorn? Um, corn variety. See, I like kettle corn the best, because apparently I'm a monster. Yeah, but kettle corn's hard to make at home. True. Kettle corn is good, though. I'm not going to refute that. It's just... It's difficult to make at home and have it not turn out like crap. And don't get me started on that microwave shit. Ah, my entire arm! I really like the design on the devil, by the way. 
He's just so happy about it. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, wouldn't you be happy if you were a devil? I would would be, be yeah. thrilled, yes. It's a pretty sweet deal. It would be great. This is awesome. Be down, dancing in hell all the time, flipping off God. <laughs> Get a sweet golden fiddle. You didn't think I'd do it, did you, you little bitch? To be fair, this is kind of a dick thing to do. He's the devil. Well, I mean, look at the mustache that he had when he was alive. Now look at his He's mustache. He's the devil. All right, that Piddly. is pretty, that is, yeah, but that's excessively cool. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Devil's like, fuck did you bring in my office? So, yeah, in a plot twist surprising no one, the rooster we met earlier was, in fact, the devil. Chicken El Diablo. Pollo. <laughs> uh. So, yeah, um, Carlos Calaca is pretty much the new devil. So not only is he a devil, but he's a skeleton as well. It's double scary. Skeletons aren't scary. You're never more than six feet away from a skeleton. Oh, God! So, yeah, uh, because we beat up this lady, she is now a good guy. Yep, that's how wife battery works. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Uh, there are things that can be said about this, and we will just leave them the hell alone. Yes, it's me. I'm one checking off all the offensive joke boxes. So now we can swap dimensions at will. Yeah, that's actually pretty nifty. Mm hmm. Aw, it's nice that Fry II is gonna go, is gonna get somebody who's at least interested in him. So, yeah, we have to go to the Tool Tree, or Tule Tree. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that. But first, let's go over here. Uh, presumably not Tool Tree, because you're not Tim Taylor. Hmm. Are you sure about that? Pretty sure. Damn it. Try doing the laugh. We gotta... Let's just check. <laughs> no. No, <laughs> please. Uh, you're not Tim, then. <laughs> uh, that was fairly close, actually. That's, that's as close to the grunt as you're getting from me. <laughs> oh, also, if we go back to the... You um, might be Tim. You mm-hmm. might be partly Tim. Anyway, the President's Mansion has money in it. Of course it does. Of course. That, the- that's it. That's We have 100%ed the President's Mansion. <laughs> okay, El Presidente is a cheap ass. <laughs> You don't keep your money in your mansion, you idiot. That's what banks are for. Hey, what's this girl's deal? Aw, oh, dead child. Those dolls are a reference to something. I don't remember what, though. Letter V six times. Oh, yeah, yes. that thing. That's also a really good game that I'm really bad at because it requires a lot of concentration and a lot of really specific platforming that I'm just awful at. Also good for you for pronouncing the name correctly. Thank you. Yes, everybody is not... Or whatever. It is pronounced the letter V six times. <laughs> also, he made Super Hexagon, the game with the best music. Whoa, editing. Yeah, um, so because we've seen everything up to this point, I decided to edit out, you know, all the parts that weren't new. Good job. You finally figured out how to LP. It only took you, like, five years. <laughs> Shut up. I've only been at this for, like, two. <laughs> ah. Which is a patent lie, by the way. I've, I think I've been at it for three. I don't know. I don't remember. Hit a patent that will lie. Mm-hmm. Patent pending. It's the Kalon zombie brand. Just lie all of the time. Hope that some things I say are actually true by accident. <laughs> well, statistically, it, you know, it'll happen eventually. Yeah. Yeah, more of large numbers and all that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, you can do this one before becoming a chicken. It's just much easier to become a chicken. 
As with many things in life. That should have been the thread title. It's much easier just to become a chicken. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you. God damn it. Where was that creativity like a month ago? I have no idea. It comes and goes. Leave me be. Uh. Anyway, we have one more thing that we can get. Uh, yep, one more thing. I just noticed it. I was like, oh, wait, that's yellow, not blue. Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Yellow and blue are different colors. <laughs> yes, they are. Thank you, Ralph Wiggum. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're supposed to do up there. I don't know why they didn't just Something make it a solid wall. Me. I think if you do like some sort of... Just probably to drive people crazy. There's probably one dude who spent like eight hours trying to get up there. <laughs> There's gotta be a secret. There's gotta be, sir! I'm gonna get I'm up there! Secret, I'm gonna get in the space! I'm gonna get in the space! Gotta find this secret! No, it's just you, Lily, yeah. And that dude is very, very sad. Yeah, this is a relatively new area. I mean, the place where we're supposed to go isn't too far away, so I was like, well, why edit out like two hallways? Because it's. I mean, it's just only, like, two hallways. I think it's the next room. Okay, it was the room after that, so... Close enough. This is where we need to go. Um, this room may look familiar, but now that we can turn into a chicken and we can dimension swap, we can actually make progress. Yay! And welcome to the Tule Tree. I'm gonna call it the Tule Tree from now on. I'm pretty sure this will drive somebody insane because I'm saying it wrong. It's tour time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, Tim. <laughs> something, something, something misinterpreting everything that the neighbor says. <laughs> Wilson. The neighbor was Wilson. Yes, Wilson. Thank you. Now you see, Tim. You saw his face in the first season, and then after that, you really didn't. I don't know why. Because apparently it was funnier to never show it, I guess? I guess uh, that's probably true. Anyway, this beginning area of the tool tree, uh, it basically teaches you how to dimension swap with some... Regularity. Yeah, by the way, I hope you like these puzzles, because this is 90% of the game from now on. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Not that it's not fun, but that's pretty much what it is now. Especially this area. This area is like, hey, you just got this power, so we're gonna just abuse the fuck out of it. Yeah, just like that Flash game. Mm-hmm. I have no idea what Flash game you're talking about, but... I don't know. There's like a bunch of them with this exact same concept. Yeah. Now we can deal with the enemies that exist only in one world now, by the way. In case that wasn't obvious. The fun thing about Cacti is that you don't have to catch their little green things just to kill them. Uh, any sort of thrown attack will actually destroy them. Get out of here. Can you say something interesting? I don't know. You're fighting those guys from Braid. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Braid, I am awful at Braid. Yes, you fucking are. Holy shit. <laughs> I feel I've missed something. Uh, a stream. Oh, nothing important then. Fucked it up so hard. <laughs> yelling at you the whole time. You were yelling at me the whole time. I wasn't paying attention. Yep. Oh, the nice thing about, um, about dimension swapping is that if you dimension swap into a thing that exists in a dimension, in the other dimension, then you don't get hurt, you just get kicked back into the previous dimension you were oh. in. Yeah, so it's well, if it so hurts much. you, some of these puzzles would be really, really dickish. Y oh, yeah. When you can do it, come on. There, there you go. go. Yeah. Woohoo! You're a big boy. 
And then I mess up probably the easiest puzzle in the entire dungeon. When they're all sparkly like that, they look like big pretzel sticks. <laughs> oh man, I love dipping pretzel sticks into Nutella, and I don't care if that makes me a neck beard. No, that's just... Pretzels and chocolate is a fairly good combination. You get crunchy, salty, and chocolate. Hmm. That's not weird. Nutella is weird, though. Yeah, Nutella is weird. Nutella is weird. Get like an actual hazelnut spread. Spread the money, come on. For the longest time, I actually thought it was pronounced Nutella because, like, hazelnut, but no, You've it's, it's not. You've never seen a TV in the last 15 years, whatever. Um, no, because I haven't really watched TV since, uh, 2004, 2003? Pretty sure they had Nutella ads on all the time, even then. I don't know. Maybe I just never watched the right channel. I'm actually amazed that I got that on the first try. <laughs> Me too. In, in the previous recording, that took about two or three attempts. The previous recording of this was highly embarrassing, and I'm sort of glad the video got corrupted. Very tricky. Oh! New enemies! These guys explode! Yup. It... That you cannot escape the explosion. Uh, the green guys aren't too bad, but eventually, and by eventually I mean in this very arena, you run into, like, really big blue guys, and they will instantly kill you. Avoid the blue balls. Uh-huh. <laughs> you have ten seconds to get to deal with them, and in normal mode, that's plenty of time. In hard mode, it's cutting it a little bit closer, but you still have plenty of options. They're not fun. I really don't like them. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, they use them smarter later, but on their own, they're not threatening. Oh, that's what I've been meaning to say for almost five episodes now. Um, one thing I really like about this game is that no enemy on its own is really that threatening. It's when they start getting grouped together that they become threats. It's... Just there's only like one or two enemies in the entire game that I think are legitimate threats on their own. He's just got to get tired of you breaking all his statues. I mean, he's trying to find really new and inventive places to hide them, and you just keep getting there. I mean, like the end game is just he's sitting on the moon with one of his statues, and he's just <laughs> looking at just looking at you, chicken jumping your all way up. Just <laughs> one massive chicken punch or whatever the hell that's called. Now we can double jump. The Mexican space program. You may have noticed there are times when I try to jump and uh, it doesn't quite work. That's because I always think that I have the double jump from the get-go and I don't. But, yeah, double jumping, it's... Super useful. Yup. Is there a game where double jumping isn't really nice to have? I can't think of one. Um, I think one of the Spider-Man games had really ass double jumping that didn't really feel that great to pull off. And it didn't really help all that much. There we go. Yeah. Again, in the previous recording, that took like five tries and it was super <laughs> embarrassing. Oh. You see. Yup. Oh, and here's an arena that got changed up. You have to intenso to kill these things in one hit, otherwise you do not have enough time to kill all of the bombs, and they will all explode, and they will all pretty much kill you instantly. Well, good thing they gave you the intenso, otherwise that yeah. would really suck. Yeah, that's, that's nice about... That's what's nice about this game is that when you absolutely need Intenso, they will drop one of these dudes down. And when you're running low, and if you still need it, they will drop another one down, like uh, you just saw. Good to know the game's not an asshole. Mm-hmm. 
In progress is right, but if you go left, there's an entire chest filled with five silver coins. Yeah, five. Feels like you could make a game out of having to destroy those things in the right order. There's probably a game like that. There's, yeah. there's probably something like that, yeah. I can't think of anything, but, I mean, DLC, it exists. You could probably work that into this game pretty easily. Is there a map editor for this game? I don't know. There should be. There should be. So that's the way we can get Kaizo Guacamelee. <laughs> you just gotta add chain chomps everywhere. <laughs> Oh yes, um, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this or not, but chupacabras, I think, are the most annoying enemies in the game. Especially in the big open areas like this. Yes, because uh, they spit fire three times, but they can tur they can change direction on a dime, so if you're dodging underneath them, they will instantly, within like a frame, be able to switch between firing left and firing right, right at you, and it's super annoying. And also they fly... And also, they have, I think, way too much health for a flying enemy. Most of you eat all your goats. Those jokes. Yeah. Yeah, we need the goats. That's important. No, nope, he can eat that goat. They give us milk, meat, leather, mm -hmm. and companionship. Goats are our friends. Um, yep. Yeah. And you shouldn't suck them dry. Especially the cute little baby ones that jump off the backs of their siblings. The video is adorable. Don't suck goats, kids. No. Also, yeah, I know. Just leave it be. <laughs> Just let that one go, okay? Yep. <laughs> it's around here where you start seeing way more um, stamina upgrades because the game is now requiring you to use these a lot more often, and since you have, like, a bunch of them, it, it just, you need the stamina. The best upgrade ever. Nothing! <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine, let's scrape. Uh. <laughs> The first time that happened, I had to put the controller down because I could not believe that they seriously had an upgrade that was nothing. How do you get down there? I don't know. It's one hell of a splash. Yep. Your belly just... You gotta, like, a bruise the size of Manhattan. Yeah. Setting up a shortcut later. That, if you go up where that uh, red block was, this is just a straight up where you began in the tool tree. Tool tree, excuse me. You ever belly flop into a pool wrong? Ooh, ow! Well, he just did that with like eight stones. <laughs> you gotta get one at a slight angle to break the surface tension. Anyway, we're gonna see you next time in the Temple of War. Ray! Hey, what is it good for?